Hi, collective boo boo. It's me, Alex. And I was laying in the bed and I really, I'm sleepy, but I can't fall asleep. So I felt like you needed a reading, so I'm here to give you a reading. I hope you all are doing great. Let's see why you needed a reading. <laughs> I didn't even know what this reading is going to be about. I feel like it's going to be somewhere in the, your current energy or what's currently going on in your situation. So one of the two. Oh, you're waiting. That's what it is. Ooh, you're waiting for that big payout, big offer. Are you afraid that it won't happen? What more angels are saying? Nine of Cups, Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups. You need to have a little bit more faith is what I'm hearing. Power couple. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Yes, King and Queen. You're looking for your finances to balance out. I feel like for a lot of you guys, some of you guys want that more than love. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. But there's fear here that it won't work out. But it will. Um, ain't, I really do feel like collective boo-boo with this seven of pentacles. The universe is like, baby, have some faith in mama. Mama gonna take care of you. God, universe, Buddha, Allah, Jah. They, they gonna take care of you. This is big money too. King of pentacles. That's Taurus. It's Pisces, Cancer, and uh, Capricorn. So earth signs, ground yourself, collective boo-boo. A lot of you guys may, your root chakra could be a little foggy, right? Not necessarily vibrating at peak performance. So I would, you know, look on here, YouTube, and look for some root chakra grounding. Um, it's your security, your foundation. That makes sense. But I feel like you're secure and you're, you're know it, you may know it's going to happen, but you're, you're fearful because you don't know how much longer you can keep, uh, keep going. Angels are saying, find a healthy distraction, right? Go pet a puppy <laughs> or a cat or a ferret. I don't know. <laughs> I always got to bring up ferrets. I don't know never had one don't want one king of pentacles listen collective i don't know what's on your mind i don't know what you're not what you're afraid of afraid that it's not going to happen it's not going to uh, turn out for you but it will i feel like this message is specifically for earth signs especially taurus specifically so taurus if this is your message let me know in the comments. Not only that, but what I just got, because I'm like, you got the King of Pentacles draping the Seven of Pentacles. This is reaping what you sow, right? This is planting the seeds. This is, you know, setting yourself up for future success. And, and look at the Nine of Wands is also at the bottom. You guys have worked hard, okay? Stop worrying. That's the card of fear, fear of the unknown. Did I do enough? Should I do more? No, go sit down. Don't be like me. Don't, don't, don't stay up sitting here doing tarot readings. Go to sleep, go lay down. Collective. Yeah, see, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put so much emphasis on you worrying had the moon not been here. You know, a lot of you guys, it's making you irritable. It's making you moody. It's like, uh, mm, all right, I don't want to be bothered until, you know, I get this message of, of this job offer or this promotion. It's like, nobody call me. <laughs> I can see your mother calling you. Be like, hey, Todd. Ma, I can't talk to you right now. I got to go. Because <laughs> you guys are laser focused. Now with that Knight of Cups, that that is, um, yeah, you got high emotion. That's what it was. Because I was gonna say that one is kind of throwing me off, but angels are saying you're. It's almost like you're emotionally connected to this outcome. That makes sense. And this is something you've got. You guys have been manifesting or working on for the for the longest time. And again, I did say you guys worked hard. Okay, lovers. 
angels are saying to me perfect heart. yeah you're afraid that the bottom is gonna fall out oh queen mama oh next to the ten of pentacles i'm so excited <sighs> i'm sorry y'all know i get excited i'm sorry I, maybe one day i'll do a dry ass reading for you i mean i get excited okay um look at all these people on this table right you got the knight of cups the king of cups you got the king of pentacles twice you got the queen of pentacles you got the empress collective how many people do you have on here angels just said to me status no they said hold on alex this is status this is elite status you even hear my you know my tone and my um pronunciation changing no this is status um angels just said elevate and they also said elevate and elegance oh okay yeah you're upping upping the ante right because this is long-term money there's my divine partnership hey boo thing jesus you got three kings on the table i just noticed that okay and believe it or not i don't even really have the whole message here the information is still downloading <laughs> so i'm buffering right now so be patient <laughs> i can't okay seven of pentacles and king of pentacles listen i am not a financial advisor but the message that i just got was that the money you make use that money to make money residual income real estate investments cryptocurrency whatever it is right buy some land hold it wait for a big developer to come in and pay you like three times the amount that you bought it for and again i'm not a financial advisor so i'm not telling you guys what to do it's just advice right but that's the message i got here especially with the, the two king of the king of pentacles twice but then also the magician angels just showed me the image of popcorn so i feel like and i'm getting chills around my ears which is not a comfortable feeling collective but i'm hearing your money is going to sprout and pop like popcorn so you know i've heard other readers say that the king of pentacles is the midas touch so collective listen 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 i'm being serious now okay i don't care if it's five hundred dollars i don't care if it's five dollars take that five dollars and go play the lottery right spend three dollars on the lottery go get a you know four two dollar get two two dollar scratch offs right because I feel like this message here, and I, I can't even get to this part of the reading because this part of the reading I'm in love with. I want to marry both of these kings and a magician and, you know, have this maiden pluck my pentacles from the tree and bring them in the house. Mm -hmm. You're starting to see your manifestations materialize. And with the king of pentacles here twice and the ten, ten of pentacles and the queen of pentacles, this is success overload. I'm pro I promise you guys, I'm trying to get to this part of the reading, but angels are downloading like crazy here. They're like, you're right. You're right. They're saying to me, yes, she's right. Listen to her. Um, what I'm also getting, and I don't get a direct indication here, especially from a specific card, but I just got chills alongside my forehead and my eyebrows. And I heard that a lot of you guys know this. You could feel this in your gut, right? you some of you guys are even physically having dreams about this like you may have a dream that you've you woke up in this big ass mansion that's the universe saying to you play the lottery or make that investment the mansion is coming it's a high energy reading I'm, i promise you guys i'm trying to bring my energy down so i can get to the rest of this but again this these one two three four cards are so exciting um, they're saying it's time for you to take your seat on the throne. Okay. Yeah, you're elevating. You're upping the ante. Uh, I'm not even saying upping the ante spiritually. This feels straight 3D, physical, tangible. Angels are also saying to me too, some of you guys, it feels like a chunk of you guys, if you are in a prime real estate market, like a market like Dallas, as an example, that's continuing um, to expand and experiencing rapid growth. Um, 
I feel like that would be one of the prime markets where they're saying something like, yeah, invest, buy some property, buy a house, uh, flipping houses um, is also coming up as well. All right, let me try to move on. And I hear some people like, no, you could pretty much stay right there, Alex. I like this part. Okay. They're saying more is to come, but the seven of pentacles is also representing being patient, right? Like, yo, planting your seeds. What is that called? Sowing, right? Putting your seeds in the ground, you know, watering, fertilizing, putting them in a great area for sun or shade, depending on what's growing. And then just go on about your life. You're not, the seven of pentacles also kind of represents you going out there every day, but like, did it grow? Did it grow? Did it grow? It's like, if you don't go and find something else to do, <laughs> right? That's patience as in, and patience is the key to success. So says, um, what is his name? Bill Gates. Was the interviewer asked him, what do you, what do you consider to be the key to success? He says, patience. Okay. So moving on, Knight of Cups and the two of, Knight of Cups and the lovers. I always think the lovers is two of cups and the two of cups is the lovers. I use them interchangeably. But with the Knight of Cups and also the lovers, oh, angels are saying for, for a lot of you guys, once you get your finances in order, you can now kind of, you know, concentrate or focus on a relationship. Not only that, but I also kind of feel like, um, I feel like for a lot of you, that is your physical plan. Like house first, then I'll focus on marriage or relationships or, you know, I want to get this promotion, then I'll a ask Shauna to marry me, right? Like, um, Angel just also said to me too, you want this for so bad because the lover's card is my soulmate card, right? If we're talking about relationships, but the lover's card has to do with choices and choosing, like I choose you, right? It's also about alignment as in polar opposites, us coming together to complement each other, to become one and to create and form a union for a lot of you guys. They're saying this doesn't, this, this has nothing to do with this as in this is finances. This is love. So angels are not relating them. Okay. So that just kind of says to me that, um, for those of you who are focusing on money, the previous message will, uh, may resonate with you. Those who are focusing on love, this love message is going to relate to you, but the love message I feel, or the love or connecting or the relationship is dependent, heavily dependent on finances. What I'm also getting to, as I'm slowly strolling over to the moon and the three of swords, I feel like your pursuit here, um, that's that wait until, right? It's almost like your pursuit here could be interfering with your relationship and your per person right now feels hurt and betrayed. The three of swords, right? Third party, your endeavor, right? Your pursuits is the third party, okay? And your person is feeling heartbroken. Not only that, but you do want, you do have somebody who may be wanting to start a family now. Yeah, this totally sounds like a Taurus reading in all honesty. But, you know, again, not only specific to uh, Taurus, but it, you know, they may want to start a family. They're tired of waiting for you that, you know, and you're like, baby, let me just get that together. Once I get it done, we're going to be together, but how they currently feel. So this is what you're currently going through. This is your ultimate goal. This is what they're currently going through or what they're currently feeling. And this is their ultimate goal. Like stop your shit, choose me. And let's have this baby. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. So on one hand, one of you guys is focusing on long-term security and money. The other hand, I just want some love. I love love. Right. And these are my polar opposites. Like I said, with the lover's card, the, this is my divine partnership, right? Because again, they are different. They are polar opposites. One of them is concerned and focused on stability and foundation. And, you know, the queen of pentacles for me is you know, a very well-rounded queen, right? She's, she's loving, she's stable, she's trustworthy, she's honest, she's a great mother, she's a great, right? She's, she's kind of a complete package and she's very independent and can make it on her own, right? And then we have here the King of Cups. Well, that's, that's, that's daddy love. Hey, big daddy, 
right? Those guys coming together can rule the world. Well, look at you have the nine of cups near the queen of pentacles and the 10 of pentacles near the, uh, the king of cups. That's how they're compatible, right? Because again, she's got love in her, but she's very independent and financially resourceful. He's got love in him, but he's also too concerned about his financial future as well. So this looks like, um, you and your person. At, it sounds like at least right now or at odds, right? Because this is sitting smack dab in the middle of your reading. You guys, and this is an odd message, but I love it. You guys both are feeling like what it is that you want is the third party to the other. So you may feel like them wanting to have a baby is the third party that you're not ready for. And you may feel betrayed or hurt because this could have been your, you guys' goal as a unit. This one over here is hurting because they're ready to start a family. They're tired of waiting because your goals in the pursuit of your goals is taking too damn long, right? So this right here is the challenge of your reading collective, right? Both of you guys are afraid of the unknown, afraid of... Number one, revealing that you're hurt. I'm getting that strongly, especially here with the nine of wands. Cause I feel like for those of you on this side who are resonating with this side, I don't think that you know your person is hurt. I don't think you do. If you look at these cards, where's the, where's the communication? This is, they're hurting, they're hurting, right? It doesn't necessarily mean that they've communicated. Hey babe, um, you know, can we talk? You know, uh, you said it would take you a year to get your business off, of gr off the ground. Three years later, the business is not off the ground and you know, a sister's not getting any younger, right? I feel like, yeah, and especially with the moon card here, I feel like whomever this is, you're holding it within. You're keeping it a secret. And at the end of the day, collective, just, just talk, please. Can we bring talking back to relationships without defensiveness or um, double talking or um, ego and just, just all of the things that poison relationships specific to communication? Because I feel like you guys are compatible. I mean, this quadrant right here is like picking a litter. It's like happiness overload. You got daddy here, male or female, and, and he gonna support you no matter what, boo-boo. Okay, you wanna go and open that business? Do your thing, I'm here, right? And then she goes and open her business. It's like, okay, daddy, I open my business. Let's go on a vacation, cause I love you. I just want some me, you time. Perfectly balanced. And I feel like this was the overall goal. This was the relationship goal, but it's taken a weird turn. Not only that, but the nine of wands and the um, empress card here, if somebody doesn't want a pregnancy, it's almost like um, I'm burned out because things are not starting. They're not creating, they're not gr growing. And you got the seven of pentacles there, right? They're not happening fast enough. And I don't know when they're going to happen. I keep waiting. I keep waiting. I keep waiting. Right. And I feel like here with the king of pentacles twice, they may make money and then open up another venture or start something new. It's almost like this King of Pentacles to an extent could possibly even be getting a little greedy because they're not considering maybe their, their person's feelings. That's a full read. I love that reading. So long story short, right? Where am I at? Almost 19 minutes later, y'all need to talk. Y'all need to talk because whomever, this doesn't have to be a female. It could be a male as well, but Whomever this person is who just wants me time, who just wants to get back to what we set as goals in this relationship, they need to talk to the one who's more ambitious and driven and motivated. Because I feel like once the money is here, the status, once we have enough, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> once that's established, then the love can begin, but taking too long it's taking too long <coughs> sorry my throat just got dry all right so 
angel answers what we have oh they said read out the signs taurus gemini and virgo pisces gemini cancer taurus and libra capricorn scorpio yeah not a lot of water presence on this table right which basically means water 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 right hear my new york accent water <laughs> stop um <laughs> Yeah, not it's sprinkled on here, but um pentacles are dominating. One, two, three, four. But you got four water as well. Five, sorry. Pentacles are dominating. Yeah. I, and pentacles are dominating your relationship. And here's the thing, I think the other thing too, and this is a really important message, by the way. Because you've taken so long to express yourself, right? to them it kind of felt like you were okay with what they were doing so now when you come to them and you talk to them they're they're gonna it's it's gonna blindside them because i'm not gonna say you've created this monster um but you was there at his birth right? like as in you you perhaps should have spoken up sooner is basically the message but then also at the same time I'm sorry, if you give me leeway, I'm going to take it because I'm thinking you're giving it to me as in, again, I'm thinking you're okay with it. So I feel like, again, whomever is on this side is feeling hurt and betrayed. I think it's time to reveal your hurt feelings and your pain to your person. Oh, oh, y'all saw that somersault. Remain positive. Oh, yeah, because you got the moon card and the three of swords. Who do we have? Um, males in a page. And we got females and a male on that side. The three of swords, was it cheating? I don't know. For some of you guys, it might have been. I don't feel that in my energy. I don't feel like that's that's at the um, base of this reading. It could be, for, you know, it's general. It could be for you, but I don't, I don't get that at all here. <clears throat> Right, because I was even looking here, it's like, did they cheat and get somebody pregnant? But no, I don't think so. Not with the nine of cups and the ten of pentacles afterwards. Right? I don't I don't I don't get it. I could be wrong. I mean, general reading. And look, forgiveness comes up. I don't think they're getting I'm not gonna say it's not related to that, but forgiveness I think is more so you both need to forgive each other, right? As in, you need to forgive them for kind of, quote unquote, taking advantage, not in a traditional way, just as because you never said anything, they just kept going. So you, uh, you need to forgive them for that action. And they also need to forgive you for holding on to this for so long and not telling them sooner. <clears throat> Reconsider. It may be time for you guys to look back over your relationship goals and angels are saying are we out of balance i mean you got three kings on the table and the knight right you only have the empress and the queen of pentacles showing so yeah it's a lot of masculine energy and i'm not going to say my way or, or the highway because one of the kings is the cups but i just kind of feel like again somebody got laser focused and and just went with it trust yeah Taurus and Libra angels are saying you could have been dealing with somebody who's kind of meek, right? As in, they don't necessarily speak up. Step out of your comfort zone. Yeah. It feels like this relationship needs to be restructured. Again, relationship goals may need to be updated. Don't let pride get in your way. Yeah. I feel like that's, what's been keeping this, this, these feelings deep down on this person's side. A fiery climax approaches for some of you guys. You're going to have a, oh, an end of a tough cycle approaches. Yeah. For some of you guys, you could have an argument, right? Because tension and emotions are running high. So I would just say, you know, find a moment where you're not triggered, where your chest is not burning, where you, you know, you don't, <clears throat> where anger is not present. Just have a conversation with your person. Yeah. Nine of wands again. I was moving it because it was out of alignment, but 
um, with Taurus here too, um, as the King of Pentacles, yeah, your person is very strong willed, right? And I feel like they make a convincing argument, especially about the finances, but it's not the argument about the finances. It's the time in which it's taking to manifest or fully come into fruition. Anyway, collective boo boo, I loved it you. I hope you love the reading. If the reading does resonate, as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Bye. Love you.